Once you enter the political arena, all bets are off. It's the cost of doing business in politics. And as the 2024 GOP primaries get closer, candidates are looking to do their best to take out the leading contender, Donald Trump. But you know who else is doing the same? Leftists like former CIA director John Brennan. What I find most horrifying is Donald Trump is the leading Republican candidate for president. Mm. And it is clear that anybody who did this could not have achieved any type of security clearance. But he has the potential to be back in the White House in the Oval Office with access to the most sensitive secrets and the most sensitive national security information that our country has. Joining me now is 2024 Republican presidential candidate Chris Christie is back for round two. Governor, thank you for joining me. So am I to understand here that Chris Christie, Governor Chris Christie, the Republican, the conservative is on the same page as FBI, former FBI director John Brennan, the wildly liberal and maybe suspectedly um, corrupt former FBI director? Now, look, not on the same page. This guy shouldn't be on TV anywhere. He, his credibility is so bad, he shouldn't even be on MSNBC, Eric. Um, this is the guy who said that the Hunter Biden laptop story was Russian disinformation and played a lead role in coordinating that letter that got signed back in 2020. So I don't listen to a thing that John Brennan says because he has lost all credibility based upon not only what he's done before, but the, the, the capper, the, uh, the coup was uh, that letter he coordinated in 2020. It's not somebody that I agree with. That's right. 51 of them said that uh, Hunter Biden's laptop was Russian misinformation, and they all were wrong, or they all lied. We don't know. So, so Chris Christie's running a very negative Donald Trump campaign with another, I guess, Baker's dozen, 13 or so people running for the nomination. What's, what's the strategy there, Chris, governor? The strategy, look, Eric, is this. Um, you can't be the man without beating the man. And the fact is that nobody else in this race really matters other than Donald Trump. And so and I believe the truth matters, Eric. And I think the truth is very clear in, in many, many of these issues regarding Donald Trump. And I'll just use one of them. I mean, to spend $40 million of middle class donors money on your own legal fees when you are a billionaire... Um, to, to spend $250,000 of donor on re, refurbishing your plane, spend $108,000 on a stylist for your wife and call it political strategy consulting. I mean, these things are just wrong. Um, and, and the fact is that people, when they hear those things, I think will be compelled to believe they're wrong as well. Um, spend your own money on your legal fees. You're running short of it, you know, go sell Trump Tower. Um, you don't yeah, live the, in New York the, the, anymore you know, anyway. Yeah, I, I would agree with you, Governor. I would agree with you. If, if in the hindsight or in the aftermath of, of these revelations, people stop donating to, to the Trump campaign, but they're not. They're, you know, he continues to, you know, to, to fundraise. Um, let's do it this way. Governor, look, you, you and I have done, we've done politics a long time. You've done it longer than I have. I was in business first, but I've done it for 20, 20 something years. You raise money. You say you want to be president. What's your path? You and I both know if you aren't winning either Iowa caucuses or the first two primaries, New Hampshire or South Carolina, your money's going to dry up. What is Chris Christie thinking his path is to the nomination and therefore the, the Oval Office? We are going to we're going to do extraordinarily well in New Hampshire and we're going to do well in South Carolina. And, you know, Eric, let's be fair here. I've been in the race for eight weeks today, eight weeks. Donald Trump's been running for eight years um, so I feel very good about where I am right now. Um, we're going to continue to work really hard. And the fact is that I'm going to be out there telling people the truth. And that's at a premium in this race right now. People are not telling the truth. They're not being straight. I am being straight. And people know from watching me as governor of New Jersey for eight years, that's exactly what they're going to get. All right. You want to be truth? I'm going to yeah. look you right in the eye. You're going to look my, my viewers right in the eye. TV governor is intoxicating. I love being on TV. Just about everyone who's been on TV loves being on TV. I don't see a path for Chris Christie to be the nominee nor, nor the president. I do think you're a wonderful TV analyst. I think you're great at what you do. I love these interactions. And I just have a hunch you kind of like TV, too. And you might like the ABC gig where you sit next to Stephanopoulos. You're talking, you know, about Trump and whoever. Does this have anything to do with Chris Christie wanting to remain 
front and center on, on when the red light goes on on a TV camera. Eric, I walked away from a contract that I had that was through the year 2025. Um, at ABC. So I, 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 I'm certainly not running for president to try to get a contract that I already had and gave up. No, I want to be president of the United States. And I know you don't see a path right now, but I'll tell you this, Eric, when I win New Hampshire and when I become the nominee, I'm still going to be coming on the Eric Bowling show because it's one of the great places to be on TV. You can admit you were wrong and then we can go ahead and go beat Joe Biden. Well, you are a good politician because I hope you do come on that the Eric Bowling show. I'll tell you, in New Hampshire, you're at 6.7 percent. You got you got a tall ro road to hoe. Uh, I wish you, I, you know. Again, is are you sure that banging Trump is is the best way to do that? I mean, I, I think Ron DeSantis tried it, didn't work. I'm not sure where he's going. Final thought, Governor Christi Christie. Ron, Ron DeSantis hasn't tried it. Ron DeSantis has not been up front with the, the American people and our Republican primary voters. He's trying to have it both ways. Look, you have to make the case against the front runner. I am making the case against the front runner. And by the way, he helps me every day with some of the stuff that he says and does. And he gave a speech the other night in Erie, Pennsylvania, for 90 minutes, where, where in his 80 minutes of it was talking about how he got the election stolen from him in 2020, which the American people don't believe because it's not true. So we need to figure out how we're going to beat Joe Biden. And All Donald right. Trump's well, already proven he's, gonna, he's lost I, to I, Joe I, Biden, Eric. I've already, I've already gone over my limit. Uh, you, you, you're a great guy. I appreciate you standing, uh, standing here and, you know, f squaring up. Um, Donald Trump becomes a nominee. He says he's going to watch that first August 23rd debate. You're on that stage. He says he's going to look for someone whom he might pick as a vice president. Chris Christie gets tapped. Does, will you serve as his vice president? I think it's safe to say that given all the things Donald Trump's had to say about me, um, that I am not going to be the person from the six or seven that are on the stage that he'll pick. In fact, I might be the last choice. All right. Well, we're going to leave there. In fact, you were the guy who helped him... Uh, tune up his debating skills against Hillary. Governor Chris Christie, appreciate your time. Thank you. Hey, great tie, by the way. Good looking tie, my friend. Thank you. I'll, I'll get one for you, Eric. I'll send it on. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I tend to stick with the thinner blue ties, Governor. Thank you so much. <laughs> you got it.